Welcome to the second episode of Animal Battle. These episodes candidates for the title of the best mammal in the world are another two big cats which look pretty similar but have different amazing abilities. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present you these two ferocious felons. The Jaguar versus the Leopard. Also stick until the end of the video to find out who is the winner of the last battle between the lion and the tiger. Let's do it. I'm Mario and this is Animal Battle. The winner of the animal battle isn't necessarily the strongest, because we are going to evaluate all of them based on 6 different characteristics, agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill and survival. So let's start. Before we find out which of our two competitors is better, we need to be able to differentiate them. There are two main differences between jaguars and leopards. First of all, looking at their coats, we can observe that both of them have spots and rosettes, but the jaguar can have one or several dots inside the rosettes. Unfortunately, during your trip to Uganda, you might not be able to see if a large felid in front of you has dots inside its rosettes. So how do you tell if it's a leopard or a jaguar? Well, it's a leopard, because leopards live in the savannas and jungles from Africa and Eastern and Southern Asia, while jaguars can only be found in Central and South American jungles. Also, while both of them are classified in the genus Panthera, leopards are more closely related to lions than to jaguars. Now that we can differentiate them, let's take a look at their stats. Let's talk about agility. The leopard can reach speeds of up to 58 km per hour, which is not bad. While the jaguar can run with a speed of... well, I don't really know that. I couldn't find anything about the jaguar speed on the internet, so I decided to search in books, but it seems like those were written before the apparition of the first mammals. We can approximate the jaguar speed to that of a leopard or maybe less, but this doesn't really matter because both the jaguar and the leopard are stalkers rather than the chasers like lions and cheetahs. Also, leopards are the strongest climbers of all the big cats. They are designed for that, having long and strong back legs for big jumps while the shorter forelimbs have shoulder blades positioned to the side to provide space for better climbing. Jaguars can also climb trees, although not as good. But what gives them a lot of points is the fact that they are exceptional swimmers, feeling as good in water as on the ground, while leopards prefer to avoid swimming. So leopards have pretty high agility stats, but jaguars are the winners at this category because they dominate arboreal, terrestrial and aquatic zones. Looking at their intelligence stats, we can observe that they are pretty high. This is due to the fact that leopards and jaguars are predators and hunting needs a higher level of intelligence. Some might argue that one is more intelligent because it has a bigger brain, but it is not necessarily true. Whales have bigger brains than humans, but are not so intelligent, so we can say that the intelligence level of jaguars and leopards are pretty much the same. So let's move on to attack and defense stats. Here's where things become more interesting. Leopards have a head and body length of 90 to 190 cm and a long 60 to 100 cm tail. Male leopards can weigh between 37 and 90 kg. Jaguars have a head and body length of 112 to 185 cm and a short 45 to 75 cm tail. Although they are not as long as leopards, they are heavier, weighing 56 to 96 kg. This means that jaguars are technically larger and sturdier than leopards and can be a little bit more powerful. Both of them have very interesting hunting techniques. As I mentioned earlier, they are both stock and ambush predators. Leopards can attack the prey jumping from a tree from above, that must have hurt. They can also get very close to the prey through tall grass, being camouflaged and being able to move without making a sound. For this they use their thick pads under their paws, which act like silences. They can hunt during the night because they have very good night vision and can take advantage of the fact that monkeys can't see in the dark. They bite the prey's throat to suffocate it. Leopards can hunt over 100 different species from ungulates to monkeys. And if you think that the leopard's attacks are cool, wait until you see the jaguar in action. Jaguars can kill any vertebrate in Central and South America, having a preference for large prey. They can hunt deers, tapirs, peccaries, dogs, capybaras, adult caimans and sometimes even anaconda. Using their remarkable vision, jaggers can even see a target obscured by camouflage or hiding in water, and after a jagger spots the prey, it jumps. They can also swim and sneak behind a caiman and then attacks it. The caiman has no chance of survival because a jagger has a different killing technique. Instead of biting the neck, it bites directly through the skull to deliver a fatal bite to the brain. The jagger can do this because it has the strongest bite from all the large cats. But can you do this? Well, I think it can't, but the jaguar is definitely a great hunter. But we should not forget about competition. 
while leopards can defeat a cheetah, they are no match for tigers, lions, bears, crocodiles and groups of hyenas. Fortunately, they can avoid their food being stolen, dragging it into a tree. Jaguars? Well, they don't have any competition, being the largest cats in the new world. Overall, they have great attack stats. The Jaguar being slightly better due to its powerful bite and is winning a defense due to their lack of competition. Let's move on to bonus skills. As I said earlier, the leopard has a cute sense of hearing and night vision, but the same applies to jaguars, plus the fact that they can spot the target which is camouflaged or in water. Also, both of them have their spotted coats which are used for camouflage. Even though yellow and black colored coats don't seem to be good in green jungles, they can actually reflect the sunlight, making jaguars and leopards hard to spot. Now comes the cool part. Some jaguars and leopards can be born melanistic, which makes them entirely black, becoming black panthers. This means that black panthers don't exist as a different species, and neither do pink ones. Melanism in jaguars is actually quite frequent, 6% of them being black panthers. Due to natural selection, melanistic leopards don't survive in savannas, but in some jaguars where it is dark, they can be very abundant. When I first heard of this, I realized that my whole life was a lie. At least I don't struggle with survival, which is what we are going to talk about next. Leopards are listed as a vulnerable species, losing 75% of their historical range due to severe hunting. The same happened to jaguars, which have lost about 37% of their historical range and are listed as near-threatened species. Seeing that jaguars and leopards are such amazing animals, I can't imagine why would people want to kill them just for their coats. So share this video with your friends, family, babushka to see how magnificent these felids are. And don't forget to write in the comments down below or vote on Twitter who do you think is the winner and I will announce it in the next episode of Animal Battle. The link is in the description. Now I will announce the winner of a battle between the lion and the tiger. It was a very tough decision. Both lion and tiger fans had very strong arguments, but just one of them can compete further for the title, the best mammal in the world. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The Tiger. An incredible animal with very high agility, attack and defense stats. It was very close and I know that there are many lion fans which are going to be upset. But even though the tiger is the one going further, lions are still impressive animals and we should understand that all animals are amazing. So once again, don't forget to vote for this episode's winner. Respect animals.